What if I told you you have everything in you to succeed? What if I said you can achieve everything you dream? What if I concluded that you are one truth away from transforming your life? Well, it's true, you can. Give me the next few minutes to encourage you and guide you in this truth and to give you a few key tips that can apply to your life, your business, your ministry, your mindset to pursue and to access your dreams. But first, let's get this out of the way. You were created for purpose. You were created for greatness. Greatness has been put and placed and stored in you. Because of this truth, you have been granted and given permission to store and be great. The creator of the world, the creator of all things that is good, God, the great I am, who formed you and fashioned you in his likeness on purpose, for purpose, and it was his pleasure to do so. He is the one who created you, your creator, our creator, to everyone, he is the creator. To those who accept him, he is our father. And to many of us, he is our God. And the earth and everything in it belongs to him. Now, when your father has granted you permission and access to something, you must know that your ability to achieve it is limitless. Next level living requires next level thinking and exposure. Say it with me. Next level thinking requires next level living and exposure. All you have to do is to start moving. Start walking in what he's shown you and giving you to do and to be. And then all you have to say is open sesame. Allow me to share a vision with you, or maybe it was a dream that I had several years ago. I entered an elevator, and of course, I pushed the button to go up. To what floor, I don't quite remember, but I know I was going up and it was high. When I exited the elevator, I realized how beautiful that foyer was. To the left of me and to the right of me, there were hallways with many, many doors. And so I proceeded on. And as I proceeded, I was allowed to notice that there were doors on the right and doors on the left. I was led to go in whichever direction. But somehow I knew that no matter what direction I went in, it was going to be okay. So I proceeded on. As I walked, I took notice of this beautiful hallway. There were pictures and lamps and furniture to the point that I almost thought, let me just chill in the hallway. But I knew that wasn't my destiny. That wasn't where I belonged. And so I started to say, now, which door am I supposed to go in? So for whatever reason, I tried a door. And guess what? It opened. It opened. And I peeked in. And it was beautiful. It was immaculate. It was elegant. But I stepped back out. And I proceeded on, I kept going. And there were more doors, and so I tried another one. That one opened, it was just as beautiful. But something happened. Curiously, as I moved towards another door, those just started to open automatically to my right and to my left. And I stood back and I said, oh my goodness, is all of these, are all of these doors for me? Even before I would get to reach the handle, the door would open. I don't even recall if I closed any of the doors behind me that I had opened or that had been opened to me. And then I stood there and thought, which door is mine? The challenge wasn't our doors opening for me. The challenge was which door belongs to me. And I woke up. This is the hallways of life. And many of us must contend with this, the pathway of perplexities, the curse of choice. It is the in-between place. Where, when, how, and why we get stuck. 
and we start to feel overwhelmed, frustrated and, and starting to fantasize with fear and dance with despair. Let me help you today. I know it is said that fear is the opposite of faith, but allow me to present to you a different truth. Love is the opposite of fear. It is the love of God. It is the escort of faith, the love of God that is escorted by faith that overcomes and expels fear because the word says, let the perfect, you know it, love of God cast out fear. So, okay, okay, Dr. Tay, okay, Dr. Tuesday, I have permission. Permission has been granted to me. Access has been given to me to receive all that I was created to do. And I'm one of those people in the hallway, in the between place of life. So what am I to do? Glad you asked. What to do when you find yourself in this place called the hallway, when you know you have permission, when you know you have access, when you know you have privilege, when you know that you have favor, and even if you don't know, I'm here to tell you today, you do. The first thing you must do is what I did in the vision, the dream that I just shared with you. You must make a decision. You have to make a decision to let go, to let go of fear and to let go of even the fear of faith, the fear of failure, to let go of who am I going to leave behind if I pursue my dream, if I go after this permission, this access that I've been given. See, you've gotten the revelation because you're watching this video. Now they need to get the revelation. You might want to tell them to watch the video. So you don't feel like you, you have to leave people behind because you've chosen to go up higher. You know, the art to going higher is really going lower. You do know that. The stronger and the deeper the roots go, the higher the tree will grow and the stronger it will be. You have to, to consider that you have to be willing to let go because you've waited long enough. I mean, really, time is now and this is your time. So not only do you make the decision to let go, you also have to step out. Like I did when I stepped out of that elevator. Yes, yes, we got to step out on faith, trusting and believing God, but believe and trust in his love and the plan that he has for your life. And now you got to start walking, right? You got to start walking towards what you want. What do I mean by that? Sometimes you just need to position yourself in places and around people of purpose and prosperity. You have to start doing and working this great plan. Start, start to, to do this great thing that is in you. Now, to some of you, I said walk, right? But some of y'all need to run towards purpose. It's not, it's not time to slow down. It's not time to half step. It is time for you to walk on water. Now, what? Walk on water? Yeah, let me, let me just help us out a little bit. You know, the story of Peter getting out the boat and going to meet Jesus. And, and so here he comes and he starts to sink, right? And Jesus grabs his hand. But you know what we forget to tell you? Peter and Jesus walked back together. Peter walked on the water. Guess what? When, when you are being obedient and you are doing what you were put in the earth to do and you are here to fulfill purpose, you can walk on water. It's not about sinking or swimming. Honestly, beloved, it's about walk or sink. It's about walk or be washed up. Side note, God is with you. If you let him, he'll be with you as you decide to take this journey. Nothing is impossible with God and all things are possible because of and through God. Number four, ask for help. I forgot to say that when I got off the elevator and I wasn't sure which way to go, I saw someone in the hallway and they looked like they knew what they were doing. They looked like they belonged there. They looked like they were someone in authority. So I asked them, I don't remember or nor can I recall or hear in the dream what I asked them. But when I asked them, they pointed. And so I went in the direction that they told me to go. Ask for help. 
stop trying to be the Lone Ranger. I mean, honestly, that show came out in the 50s. And most of us who grew up watching it, it was rerun, y'all. Okay? So it was reruns. And to be all, if we really look at it or remember, the Lone Ranger won the Lone. He was with Tonto. So we all need somebody to take this journey with us and to help us. And those of us who are in Christ, we are never one. Number five, imagine. Remember I said I looked around and all of the beauty and the majesty that was in a hallway to the point that I thought I would stop here. But I knew that wasn't where I was to stop. That wasn't my destiny. Listen, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man. That includes you, the things that God has in store for you. Dream dream take this time to dream to reflect to examine yourself to work on you and listen celebrate the successes even the small things celebrate them plan prepare and start to journey journal your journey this is for men and women women aren't the only ones who journey journal listen moses was the first one to journal and he was a man okay so start to journal your journey. You never know. There may be a book in you that we, I can help you to publish. Journal your journey. And number six, try. Try it. The thing that has been placed in your heart that you dreamed about, that you desire to do, just try it. Like I tried the door handles. Permission has been granted to you, beloved. Try it. Go for it. What do you have to lose? Except time. And you've already wasted enough of that. So we want you to make sure that you understand that you have been granted access. Access to what? Access to take your life back. You have permission to dream again, to hope again, to pray again and again, to ask again and again, to live and to live abundantly, a fulfilled life, a purposeful life. You have permission to love again to expect again. Many of you are saying, I'm waiting on this or I'm waiting on that. Some of you are even saying, I'm waiting on God. But I have a truth for you. Most of you are not waiting on God. God is waiting on you. And the this or that that you're saying you're waiting on, the truth is, think about it. The answer has probably been revealed to you. I invite you to choose no longer to be stagnant, to procrastinate, Listen, doing something by faith is always better than doing nothing by fear. Let me say that again. Doing something by faith is always better than doing nothing out of fear. It is time for you to live out your hyphen, to fulfill your purpose. Live out your hyphen. What do I mean by that? My hyphen from 1967 until I transitioned from this earth, there's a hyphen in the middle. You need to live it out. Yes, live your best life and live out your hyphen. You see, once permission has been granted, uh, you must carry out what is expected of you according to the approved plans and the conditions that have been given to you. God has a plan for your life. He has a, he has a plan for you. He has purpose for you. And that includes hope and a great future. And if you don't know what that plan is, simply ask. He said, above all, my desire is that you prosper, be in good health, even as your soul, your soul, your mind, your thoughts, your will, and your emotions prosper. This is his desire for you. So today, I invite you to do those six things. Make a decision to go up. Step out of faith. Your steps are ordered by the Lord. Your steps are ordered towards what you want and what you desire. And ask for help. Imagine your future. Imagine a future without fear. Imagine a future without conf uh, confusion. Imagine a, a, a future without loneliness or worry, fear, or frustration. Imagine a future without lack. Imagine a future without sickness disease or dis-ease. Imagine your future great. And then take a chance. Go after what you dreamed.
Go after what you wanted. Go after what you've asked for and desired. It is time for you to bring the past tense, the ED, into present purpose. What wasn't or wasn't to be, will be. I, I heard, recently heard a story about a gentleman in his 50s who um, successful in his own right, accomplished. While in college, he started to pledge fraternity and the line got dropped. Now, those of you who are sororities and fraternities, you guys know what that means, right? So he didn't get to finish. He didn't get to finish his pledge. And so 30 years later, the opportunity was presented to him to pledge grad chapter. Now he could have said, I'm too old for that. I'm way past that. But God presented him the opportunity to finish something he has started, to complete a dream that he wanted. He didn't even realize he still had that desire in him. And now 30 years later, he did it and he accomplished it. Now what was or what wasn't is, listen, beloved, it is never too late. It is never too late for you to be sure and to know your plan and your purpose. So you're saying, I really want to know what to do. I really want to know how to do it, but I just need someone to help me. I invite you that if you desire more information, if you desire a sure plan towards purpose, allow me, Dr. Tuesday, the vision coach, to help you define and to bring your life vision into focus. Your door, no, no. Your many doors of opportunity are open to you. They await you. It is not only your time, it is your turn. It is your turn to walk therein. Permission has been granted to you. It has been granted to you for you to succeed. I welcome you to take the journey.